I filmed for like 25 minutes straight just for like the haul part. I realized where like by the end that there's so many things that you need to buy for your first apartment that in no way is it possible to like buy everything at once. If you're not, if you didn't plan to move or you didn't like save up like thousands and thousands of dollars and you didn't, you don't have your parents to back you up or you don't have like someone to like give you stuff. In no way is it possible to buy everything at once without like being short on money, being short on rent, like pre 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 pri making your, without, what's the word? Without being short on food, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you need to go with sales. You need to look where your priorities are and make sure that you have what you, what is necessary for you to live in your apartment and later buy the luxurious stuff or buy the furniture. Like, we're gonna move. We're moving in. And the only things we have is stuff for the kitchen curtains and like a little bit of stuff for the bathroom we have the bed i have a tv stand we have our clothes and what's gonna be in the essentials hall and that's it what i've seen i've been watching so many moving vlogs recently and the I just realized what was bugging me because I was watching them and I was like, there's something bugging me. There's something that's like not talked about. It's all in the same format. There's something that is not said. And it's the fact that most of people moving, even if it's their first apartment, they're buying so many stuff. So, so, so much stuff. They're buying couches they're buying like shelves they're buying fake plants they're buying decorations they're buying like expensive ass things for the kitchen they're buying like pots and pans that cost like hundreds of dollars and i just realized like you don't need to buy everything at once and you don't need to like be so on trendy and so like right now for the kitchen stuff like it's the um, cooking utensils the silicone and wood ones that are like super trendy and if i'm being honest like i want them like i want them so bad i'm like oh it's just 25 dollars. you get like 30 stuff like that's good right but do i really need 20, 30 different like utensils for cooking if i'm moving in for the first time no so why buy like 25 dollars why spend 25 dollars on cooking utensils when i could take the 25 dollars Spend five dollars for like four kitchen utensil cooking utensils that I really need. Then keep the other twenty dollars and either invest it, save it, buy it something else. It's not a dress. Like people don't talk about this on social media. I'm like, I just realized it. Reality is, most people don't have the money to buy everything at once. That's why you buy a car, you pay it monthly. You buy. A house you pay it weekly monthly two weeks whatever like you put the money on a long length of time so that you can pay and own it without like cutting short on something have to prove prime like without that ah, the word again like you don't need you don't have like the luxury of just it's like, oh, I want that car. That car costs like $8,000. A lot of people don't have the money to like to say, okay, I'm taking $8,000 out of my bank account today and I'm buying a car. Most people are gonna go and say, okay, um, I'm either gonna save up and put $8,000 on the side on a long length of time before buying the car or they're gonna go, okay, can I make payments every two weeks on a time of two years maybe and then you go from eight thousand dollars a day to i don't know a couple dollars or a couple hundred dollars every two weeks or every month or something 
like I went into like buying stuff for moving and I was like oh my god there's so many things that we're moving in the unfurnished bedroom uh, one bed one bath oh we need to buy this 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 we need decorations we need a couch we need a table we need this do you want a podcast place okay let's buy you a mic and it was like no 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 calm down calm down like my boyfriend was like no <laughs> stop there I am very thankful for him because he has been through so much stuff in the past two weeks just from my stress and me stressing about moving and he's been calm and stayed calm and was like no you don't need the couch you don't need the dinner table you don't need the little things in the kitchen you don't need the spice rack right now you don't need a new bed you don't need new curtains or curtain rod you got one right i was like yeah i i have one but it won't fit the style he's like no it, it doesn't need to fit the style right now like let's fit the style when we're moved in when we're secure financially and when we can say okay today i'm gonna splurge a bit and i'm gonna spend money on curtains that are more expensive but to fit the space or they're a little bit more like blackout curtains and we went to winners like one like maybe a week ago and found some linen blackout curtains it was like a set of two curtains and they were like 63 dollars and i was on the fence whether we buy them or not i was like do do we buy them i was like there's a part of me that was like yeah buy them you like them right and they're probably like the right size for the windows then the other side of me was like you really need to spend 63 dollars plus tax on stupid curtains that are going to be open most of the time for the living room because like a couple days later my boyfriend was like i'm glad we didn't buy the curtains i was like yeah me too it's like yes white on the one side but on the other side like the curtains like filter a lot of light and we sleep well with that we don't need blackout curtains we don't need the couch right now like i thought we bought so much more because like our bank accounts have gone down so much because we need to buy stuff and i was looking at the like kitchen table i was like there's not a lot on there but do i have everything i need i was like yeah the only thing missing is like pot like pans so we can cook stuff like our plates and bowls came with mugs. Like we have bottles that we can just fill up with water, whatever we want to drink and just drink from that. As for the couch, we spend most of our time on the bed first and second we're out most of the time too. Like do we really need the couch? No, we're gonna move in and honestly, it's probably like the best thing and like I'm gonna be super happy just to be there that we don't need everything we don't need the new couch we don't you don't need brand new camera the brand brand new phone like i have like an iphone 11 pro max which i'm super thankful i have i don't need to buy expensive stuff i can just wait a bit and find a much cheaper version or the same thing for a much lower price it's a mindset thing and i'm learning it and it's like super hard because sometimes I'm like, I want this, but do I need it? No. Then I stop there and I don't buy it. And I thank myself a couple of days later for not buying it. So yeah, I just wanted to address that because I know that a lot of moving vlogs don't. I don't want to be like fully transparent with like prices and the, the amount that I buy. A lot of moving vlogs are like, hey, I'm moving, here's the empty apartment tour, shows it moves boxes here's what we're on right now have a good day see you next time and i'm like okay why'd you get that why'd you get that <laughs> quick amazon research oh that's 200 dollars for something that i was looking at for 70 dollars there's something you want to know the price that i paid for i am gonna tell you if you're still watching thank you so much um i hope you have a lovely day have a good day good night wherever you are and I'll see ya next week.